Happy holidays! Was that cheesy? Was that a good cheesy Sunday morning coffee, my friends? We're gonna do a video version of Sunday morning coffee. What do you think of this? Check it out. Sunday morning coffee. This is kind of a, a cool turquoise green throat chakra mug. Thank you so much to my sweet partner, creative partner husband, who helped to create this exactly how I envisioned it for me. I'm gonna put a link below so you can purchase a mug and that this will help to support Sunday Morning Coffee, the series, the continued podcast. Mostly it will be an audio, but sometimes I'll pop in and we'll share a video and a cup of coffee. Good morning to you today. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, feels so good to drink coffee. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, Sunday morning coffee, our first episode that is video. Yes, our first video episode. So before I forget though, I wanna make sure that I mention, so I'll put the link below to this mug. This mug is a way to support Above Life channel on YouTube, a way to support the podcast series of Sunday Morning Coffee. So the purchase price is going to support the work. It's going to help encourage me to continue to show up in my fullness. It's gonna to help to really support the work here. And so this little tiny coffee mug, you're not paying for the mug. You're donating, you're making a contribution, and you're getting the mug with it. Okay, so when you make that purchase, you might be like, what, for that little mug? Mm -mm, don't worry, it's not about the product, it's about the energy vibe of support. So thank you so much, thank you so much. For those of you who get your coffee mugs, I want you to tag me, hashtag me Bridget Inspired, or hashtag Above Life Channel, so I can see it on Instagram, so I can see it, okay? I wanna see your mugs, cheers. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. So today's topic is, it's called, <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, <clears throat> today's topic is like, okay, so I'm gonna try to do it. I wanted to do it in a video form. So obviously it's holiday season, we're coming into the holiday season, I'll be sharing some other things on my Fairy Grasshopper channel, holiday related like gifts and um, gift ideas, unique gift ideas, some things that I'll be offering um, just on a limited time basis. So make sure you follow Bridget Inspired on Facebook and Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube also. So that's what the holidays, guys. I'm gonna start to uh, decorate today. So I gotta decorate the studio here also. But it's, <clears throat> here's today's topic. All right, all right. It, it comes from, it's an inspiration from like, okay, the 80s. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. I'm inspired in growth today with Sunday Morning Coffee. I'm inspired to share with you growth, the opportunity, the understanding, the expansion, the stretching, the challenges that come with growth. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Things are not always as they seem, and in fact, we've learned many things are not always as they seem, and that's probably a very good thing. Underneath, we are building these skills. With the energy of the right side and the left side, that's divine masculine, divine feminine, that's unity coming together, that's like the sacred geometry shape of the Vesica Pisces, which is overlapping circles, which is this sacred energy of openness, of divine, of connection. It's like a portal into your soul. The wax on, the wax off brings in the energy of what am I bringing into my life and focusing on? And what am I willing to let go? Things aren't always as they seem, but that's okay. Because everything isn't what you see. 
It's what you sense. It's what you feel inside you. You are a clairsentient being. You are an empath. And for empaths to build up their strength, you need the interconnection of the two circles, of the both sides, of the learning process below. You're not just waxing the car in that Karate Kid movie. You are learning how to take care of yourself. You are learning the protection of the universe and cosmic consciousness with that energy of the interconnected circles of the Vesica Pisces. That's a sacred geometry shape. I encourage you to look it up online to use it for a journal prompt for yourself. So what are we learning? What are we learning? What are you learning? What's showing up for you? Not externally. Ask the deeper question. What am I learning? What is this? Not what is this showing me? This experience that I'm watching, whether it's the circus and sideshow and politics, or whether it's the, the nightmare of health crisis that's going on, whatever it might be, or personal, very deeply interpersonal issues and relationships with your children, with addiction, with all sorts of things. You could be dealing with layers upon layers. What is this? What is this that is happening, that is unfolding? What is this for me? We often do take experiences outside externally, very personally. That's how we process. We make it personal. It's natural. You're going to take it personal. But the bigger question is, what is this for me, for me? As an empath, as a clairsentient, sensitive being, you are processing not just what you're seeing, not just what your mind is giving you, but your heart. And your heart is in partnership with the soul, just like your human eyes are in partnership with your mind. Your human eyes are in partnership with your brain. Seeing is believing for many people. For me and for you as empaths, seeing is feeling and knowing. You see with your heart, your senses, your emotions give you information. There is a picture that is formed based on how you feel and what you sense. And when I say feeling, I'm honoring the heart. And when I say sensing, I'm honoring that solar plexus, that spirit. Your spirit is in your belly. Your heart is in your chest. And this is the core of your body. This is where all your major organs are. This is where the engine room is of your house as a body. This is the core of you physically. When people say strengthen your core when you're exercising, strengthen your core in spirit. That's the wax on, wax off. What is this about me? What is this for me? What is this to me? What is this to me? Wax off? This is not mine. This part is not mine. This part is. This part is not mine. This part is. Be careful. People try to give you a lot of stuff. They try to give you all their stuff. They try to give it to you because they don't know what to do with it and it's stressful and they don't want to hold it in their heart. So they try to give it away and they vent and they share and they stress out. And it's okay to be in a relationship where you're listening to your friends, you're listening to your loved ones going through their stressors. It's okay for them to vent. Just get into the space of your heart and your core, your heart and your soul. That's the core of you. Get into your core center. Wax off. Let their energy be their own. Spiral it back. What is this for me? This is an opportunity for me to practice healthy boundaries by waxing on, waxing off. Waxing on, waxing off. What is this for me? This is an opportunity for me to practice my healthy boundaries and literally vision. <sighs> vision, the spiral going out when they're sharing. You can still have deep, intimate conversations with people who are upset, who have been traumatized, who have had very serious things that they're dealing with. You do not have to avoid or run away from other people's issues. That it creates even more challenge for you. You do not isolate. That is not what you do. When you are staying home, 
You are in your core. You are in your heart and your soul. You are totally safe here. You can still have a relationship with others and let them speak to you and talk to you over the phone, over Zoom, video conference, whatever it might be. And guess what? Lots of opportunity for you to manage healthy boundaries, not by rejecting somebody or being scared that they're gonna get their stuff on you and you're gonna catch their contagion of stress. That is ridiculous. That is a false belief. It is an opportunity. What is this for me? 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 Wax on. I'm in the learning. I'm practicing. You guys, when you have stressful encounters with people, when somebody's venting or they're all negative and you're not negative, you don't have to catch it. It's like the proverbial wear a mask concept. <laughs> It's not a shields up, get away from me, I can't talk to that person. It's a, yes, you can, even if it's your mom and she drives you nuts. Even if it's a sister that judges you, even if it's your boss who's stressing out over you know, has nothing to do with you, but you just listen. You show up, you be present, and you be in your energy of, what is this for me? Release the stuff that's not yours. Don't take it in. Let there be a balance of these double circles, Vesica Pisces, what is true for you will be yours. You have an opportunity to solidify, to connect deeper into the core of the foundation of who you are and to practice what you've learned. Have you not learned anything? Have you not learned anything? You need to go to Fairy Grasshopper channel and check out some of the tools and tips that we've been sharing over the past several years. There's lots of tools and tips. There's also a lot of good tools and tips on Above Life channel on the playlist for your questions, where I answer your questions. Again, this is a time where there is ample learning. Things are not what they seem, but it's not about conspiracy theories. It's about what you know to be true for you. It's about releasing judgment and receiving the opportunity to practice your good energetic habits. Healthy boundaries within yourself does not mean you reject other people and avoid them. It's not about isolation. It's about being confident in your home, which is your heart and your soul. It's not just what your physical eyes see and your mind makes of it. There is a deeper level of connection and understanding here. And it's here and it's now and it's a gift for you. It's a gift for you. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for joining the Sunday Morning Coffee video episode. This is our first one. Cheers to all of us with my new Sunday Morning Coffee mug. When you purchase a mug, you're actually supporting the channel. You're supporting the work. You're giving me encouragement. And you get a mug to enjoy the Sunday morning coffee series with. Plus it's not too big, so your coffee won't get cold quickly mm -hmm, and you won't over caffeinate. <laughs> All right, so this is Bridget. Thanks so much for being here. I hope we've inspired your spirit today with our Sunday morning coffee session and filled your cup with hope. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs>